going on, my nursing brothers and sisters? I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I wanted to kind of have a discussion with you in regards to the metric system. Because for those of us who have gone nursing school and went through the horrendous task of trying to figure out the metric system living in America, it, it was not fun. Let's just put it that way. Um, within healthcare, pretty much everything is going to be measured within the metric system. Either your, your meters or your liters or your grams. So it's important for you to understand specifically how that is broken down so that you can answer dosage calculations appropriately. So stay tuned and let's get started on trying to figure out the metric system. channel or you're an oldie but a goodie make sure that you're subscribed and hit that bell notification it does let you know when I post new content and I will be posting new content now five days a week so keep an eye open for that make sure that you follow me on my social media I am on Facebook Instagram and Twitter and make sure that you comment like and share these videos with your friends Let's get started. So before we begin, we have to kind of understand the English system and the metric system. So within the English system of measurement, there are multiple units of measurement for one specific thing. So for example, length. There's inch, there's foot, there's yard, there's mile. That's kind of how the English system breaks down the measurement of length. But when you're measuring it within the metric system, there's only one basic unit and that's length. That's the meter. So it's easier but harder depending on which system you learned first. If you learn the metric system first then I think you're going to be okay but for those of us that went to school in America and learned the English system it become a little bit harder so we're going to break this down. There are four basic units of measure. You've got your meter, you've got your gram, you've got your liter, and you get your seconds. So let's break down the metric system. So with anything in nursing school, the easiest way to remember certain things that you need to remember is to have a mnemonic. So the mnemonic that I remember for the metric system was King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So those are seven different words that you need to remember to break down the metric system. So King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So how does that correlate? King stands for kilo, Henry stands for hecto, doesn't stands for deca, Usually is your unit, drink stands for deci, chocolate stands for centi, and milk stands for milli. So to break that kind of down, um, your little numbers, and an easy way for you to remember, always end in I. So deci, centi, milli. So, you know, your uh, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter, those are your, your little numbers. And you've got your big numbers, your kilo, your hecto, your deca, um, your OOA. OOA, OOA, that's how I kind of remember the beginning part of the metric system. So as with anything, really, how do we break that down? So if you've got seven kilos, how does that go? So you've got seven kilos, 70 hecto, 700 deca, 7,000 units, 70,000 deci, 700,000 centi, and 7 million milli. So basically as you go down the list, whether you go to the left or you go to the right, it kind of, you either have to times it by 10 or divide it by 10. So if we're going from kilogram to milligram, we're timesing it by 10 as we go. So we're basically adding zeros, 7, 70, 700, 7,000, and so forth. But if we're going the other way, then we're Subtract, we're putting the zeros in front of our core number. So 7,700,000, 77,000. It kind of goes the other way, but we're going to break this down. I know this sounds confusing, but let's break this down. So let's start off with an example. Our first example is, is we need to convert 100 meters into kilometers. So we know that 100 meters specifically the meters, is a basic unit of measure. Because it is a basic unit of measure, we are going to start at the unit portion of our King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. So we're going to put the 100 meters into the unit portion of our metric system. So now we need to convert it to kilometers. We have to count how many kilometers, I'm sorry, how many columns are to the left of units. So we've got one, two, three. There's three columns to the left of the units column. So what do we do? We basically just move the decimal place. So we have 100 meters 
and the decimal at the end of 100 meters. We're going to move it over three times. So one, two, three. So now 100 meters is equal to 0 0.1 kilometers. Let's try that again with another example. So example number two, we need to convert 20 grams into milligrams. So we know because the word grams is in our first unit of measure that it is a unit based measure, meaning that liters, grams, and meters all fall with under the U of our metric system table. So now we need to find out where our milligrams are. Our milligrams are to the right of our table, but how many columns between the unit and milligrams are there? There is centi, I'm sorry, deci one, centi two, and milligrams three. So we know that we need to move the decimal three places to the right. So we start off with 20 and we move our decimal one, two, three, and we go ahead and we add our zeros. And the new conversion is, is that 20 grams is equal to 20,000 milligrams. Let's go on to another example. So example three, we need to convert four kiloliters to milliliters. So we know it's kiloliters, it's going to go all the way to the left side of our metric table because kilo, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk, that K right there at the end stands for kiloliters. So we're going to go ahead and put our four in the kiloliters part of our metric conversion table. But we need to count how many columns to the right until we hit milliliters. So we've got hecto 1, deca 2, unit 3, deci 4, centi 5, and milli 6. So we know that we need to move our decimal place six times to the right. So we start off with our four and we're going to move our decimal place. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to go ahead and add our zeros. So we know that four kiloliters is equal to four million milliliters. Let's go on to our last example. So our last example is we need to convert 20 milligrams to grams. So we know that we're going to go ahead and place our 20 inside the milligrams category of our metric conversion chart. So now we need to count how many spaces to the left there are before we reach grams. So we've got centi 1, deci 2, and our unit, which is our grams, 3. So we need to move the decimal place three times to the left. So we've got 20 milligrams, and we're going to move that decimal 1, 2, 3. It's very important to make sure that you put a zero in front of your uh, decimals so that you understand that that is a decimal and it's not some weird number. You know, you don't want to make a medication mistake because you didn't add that zero. So now we know that 20 milligrams is equal to 0 0.02 grams. I hope that this helped break down the metric system conversion very easily for you. I know it can be very confusing, like I said before, when you've learned on the English system and now you're having to learn the metric system, but honestly, once you get the hang of it, it is so much more easier. If you want me to post an additional video regarding um, different test questions, or I can even do a live video where we kind of go over the metric system to help you kind of with those conversions, I am more than happy to. I would love to do it, and honestly, I would love to bring more live streams to this channel, so give me a reason. <laughs> but until next time, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye!